What? 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 I... I'm... Yes, Jerry. You're in your hometown of Barnet Springs. What am I doing here? And you are... You know who I am, Jerry. You've known it for quite some time. Do you know why you are here? You have to look around, Jerry. Why? You'll see soon. Hold space for an overview. Then move the cursor over the stairs. Spacebar? Cursor? I don't know what it means either. Just do it, Jerry. It's a dream after all. Okay. I can see the church door. Very good, Jerry. Take a closer look. To do this, use the right mouse button. Huh. Seems to be locked. The church is locked? It's Sunday. Shouldn't it be open? Look closer, Jerry. You can use objects by clicking the left mouse button. Click the left mouse button to open the church door. The door is locked. Locked? Really? What could that mean? Is it possible that something bad is going on in Barnet Springs? Something bad? Yes, Jerry. And it wouldn't be news to you if you had opened and read the letter that I sent to you. Your letter? Jerry, have you already forgotten the old shaman who sent you a letter recently? Wickvaya? Yes, Jerry, it's me. You should read the letter I sent to you. How do I do that? You should wake up first. Things would be easier if you did. Well, how do I do that? By leaving this dream. Don't ask me how. It's your dream. I don't make the rules. Visiting you in a dream was hard enough. You don't like visitors from Barnet Springs? We have more important things to do. So, wake up. If you move the cursor to the upper corner of the screen, the inventory will open. So, what about your inventory? Empty. Apparently, you lost your car keys. Walk around Barnet Springs by left-clicking the spot you want to go to. Hold the space bar to look for your car keys. Then you pick them up with the left mouse button. No kidding. I could have done this by myself. I just want to be sure, Jerry. Apparently, you struggle with opening and reading letters. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. And now, go and search for the keys. Mine. Hmm. Got it. So, Jerry, have you found the car keys? Yeah, but it's broken in two. Apparently you don't want to wake up. Is it possible you don't want to return to Barnet Springs? Never mind. You can combine things in your inventory. Use the left mouse button to take one half of the broken key. Then combine it by clicking on the other half with the left mouse button. Combine car keys? It's a dream, Jerry. It'll work. Has it worked? Yeah, I have a car key now. Okay, follow me to your car. We'll run. Just double-click the spot you want to run to. I'll go on ahead. 
<laughs> Nonsense you're talking. Double click? Trust me, I'm a shaman. We're in a dream, Jerry. Did you forget? Okay, Jerry. Wake up, read the letter, and then let's meet in Barnet Springs. Just take the key out of your inventory and use it with your car. What a strange dream. Very strange. Wait a minute. This letter is real? Maybe I should actually read it. So, I'm back again. In Barnet Springs, a small, sedate town in Louisiana. The place where I was born and raised. I made a living out of it. A place which, after my parents' disappearance, I turned away from. I just wanted to leave this dump so badly. That's why I left everything behind and set my mind on becoming a rock star. I put together a band and we toured America. But now, I'm back. Wikvaya, the old Indian shaman from Barnet Springs, wrote me that his daughter Luna might be in danger. Luna, the unforgettable love of my youth. What was I supposed to do? So, that's why I'm here. Back in the place I intended to only return to once I made my fortune. <laughs> if at all. Oh, it's Jerry McPartland himself. Look, everyone, look. A genuine rock star is gracing us with his presence here in our humble bar. Come on, Luna. You know I'm no rock star. Really? After all, you're a man that leaves his friends without batting an eyelash. God damn it, we spent our whole lives together, and then, then you just vamoose and let everybody down. Do you think nobody missed you? Do you think we really just all went on living our lives like nothing ever happened? Do you really think all this was easy for me? Not easy, but... Luna. How have you been? Pretty good, Jerry? Or do you really think I went into mourning and became incapable of doing anything at all after you left? I'm a big girl now, you know? I can fend for myself. And besides, Jimmy has always been there for me. I didn't mean it like that. Wait, Jimmy? Well, all the weird things that are happening here these days, along with the murders. Jimmy again? Wait a second. Murders? Yes. Mrs. Bitter, the teacher. Stephen Johnson, who used to work with Fred at the pawn shop. And Greg Statson from the mail office. Haven't you heard? They're all dead? Oh my god. Yes, Jerry, they're all dead. And ever since, nobody dares leave their house anymore. Everyone's scared. Ted's the only one who comes in. He feels safer with a real Native American shaman and his daughter than in his own home. Oh yeah, and then there's this strange FBI agent who started probing around here soon after the murder started. FBI agent? Yeah, very strange guy. Whenever I see him, he sends shivers down my spine, and the cat by the trash starts hissing. Is it really Jimmy Lash tormenting my ears? Yeah, that's Jimmy. What's up? He sucks! For what it's worth, I actually like his voice. That's the reason you're playing it over and over again? Do you have a crush on him? Uh, no, Jerry. Of course not. Truth is, Mr. B pays for Jimmy's songs to be played when no selection has been made in the jukebox. And therefore makes Barnet Springs a living hell for people with a good taste in music. You need a haircut, just relax, and I'll tell you Whatever happened to your dad? It was Wikvaya who sent me this letter, after all. 
Ah, so that's why you're back. I almost thought you might have missed some of your old friends. Uh, well... All that Wick does these days is sit in that corner trying hard not to fall asleep. He drinks coffee as if sleeping was a punishable offense. Ever since the murders took place, everybody's freaking out. To be honest, I'm terrified. Okay, Luna. I'm leaving now. Whatever. But just don't leave again. Ted, can I have one of those coins? Look at that. The moment he wants something from me, he suddenly knows my name. Well, it was just a good guess. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'd never part with my lucky coins. Is Ted still on the top of the high score list? Back in the day, whenever someone beat his high score, he wouldn't leave the pinball machine until he got it back. Luna's telephone. This is a very particular lock. It's probably supposed to keep money safe. Wick Vaya, the old Native American shaman from Barnet Springs, happens to be Luna's father. I need to insert a coin if I want to change the song. Wick's coffee. Hmm. Seems to be decaffeinated, though. Nah, that's Wick's coffee. And decaffeinated isn't my cup of tea, either. Hey, Wick, what's so important that you made me come over? Luna's in danger, and so is my brother. Good to... Coffee first. Gotta wake up. Uh, this won't work. He needs something stronger to wake up. Nah, that's what and decapping. Luna. Uh, may I have some coffee? Decap? Uh, to be honest, I'd prefer some real coffee. I'm sorry, Jerry. Coffee machine's out of order. Okay, Luna. I'm leaving now. Whatever. The old coffee machine Luna asked me to dispose of. Hmm. I wonder if I can find something useful. I'll carry it outside and, and have a look. Hands off! Luna. How can I wake up your dad? Come on, just let him sleep. I've been giving him decaf only for a couple of days so that he can get some sleep. He thinks that evil spirits are surrounding us and that he has to use his shamanism to keep them at bay. So you don't want to make some coffee for me? Jerry McPartland drinks coffee? Did you develop new habits in your career as a rock star or are you just trying to wake up with? Uh, Make you coffee, Jerry. Did you forget the coffee machine is out of order? I left it there because it looks pretty. And also because I'm not strong enough to carry it outside. 
Can I help you with the coffee machine? I could carry it out for you. After all this time, you would do that for me? Do you still have feelings for me? Uh, uh, of course I'll help you out. <laughs> all right. I don't want to hurt my back, so I'll just let you help. Okay, Luna. I'm leaving now. Whatever. You need a haircut, just relax, and I'll tell you it's I'll dispose of the coffee machine in no time, Luna. Now would that work? I can't do that. Are you kidding me? Hi, Fred. Long time no see. Yet not recognized. You'll never learn that I am Ted, will you? All of you look so alike, though. That's a common thing for identical triplets, Garrett. How you been in the last few years? In the last few years, I traveled America sightseeing. Didn't see much? Yeah, I've seen every shabby joint between Canada and Mexico. You still haven't performed at Mr. B's place. Yeah, that's because he prefers Jimmy Lash. Well, Barry, he's a local celebrity. Still, whenever he sings, I can feel the grease fleeing my hair. The old coffee machine Luna asked me to dispose of. Hmm. I wonder if I can find something useful in it. I'll carry it outside and then have a look. Are you kidding me? I'll take it. It isn't unwieldy or anything. I better leave them alone. There's no time for taking a nap on the floor. Mmm. Even Luna's trash smells yummy. Padlock prevents me from reaching the glorious junk. I need a key. I can't do that. Oh, it's secured by a huge padlock. Strange. Who steals trash anyway? <laughs> 